Today we're going to be reviewing the skills necessary to be successful in Chapter 3. So this is the fair game review. The first concept is adjacent and vertical angles. <clears throat> you are asked in Example 1 to tell whether the angles are adjacent or vertical and then find the value of x. So it might be important for us to define um, or review the meaning of adjacent and the meaning of vertical. Um, adjacent angles are angles with a common vertex. They share a common vertex and a common side. So adjacent angles are side by side. Vertical angles, on the other hand, I'll come down here. Vertical angles are opposite angles and they are formed by intersecting lines. Here's an important thing about vertical angles. They are congruent. That Y got out of place, didn't it? Okay, so that's going to be very helpful. Congruent. All right. So it says here when you're looking at 50 degrees and X degrees, they are opposite, right? Across the vertex of two intersecting lines, they're vertical. Because vertical angles are congruent, the angles have the same measure, so the value of X is 50. So let's give a couple of these a try. Tell whether they are adjacent or vertical, then find the value of x. In number one, you can see that the two angles are on opposite sides of a vertex of two intersecting lines, so they are vertical. So these are vertical angles. Because they are vertical, they are equal to each other. So the quantity x plus 8 must be equal to 120. Use your inverse operations and problem solving skills to solve for x. So we would subtract 8 from both sides to find x is equal to 112. Now in this case it's not necessary to put the degree symbol because x is just a variable. It's the 112 plus 8 that equals the degrees which is 120. Okay. In number 2 um, we see the angles are side by side. They have a common vertice right here, so that makes them adjacent. Okay, that common vertice is 90 degrees. So we know that the two angles add up to 90 degrees, and we can write an equation. 43 plus x plus 3 has to equal 90. So use some combining like terms to simplify x plus 46 equals 90 and then subtract 46 from both sides. So x is equal to 44. Again, um, x is not the degrees, it's x plus 3. You could always check your work because you could take x, substitute it in, 44 plus 3, which is 47, plus 43 has to equal 90 and it does. The next concept to review is complementary and supplementary. Um, so we're going to tell whether the angles are complementary or supplementary, then find the value of x. Complementary in mathematics means that the sum of the angles measures 90 degrees. Supplementary means that the sum is 180 degrees. Two angles do not have to be adjacent in order to have the relationship complementary or supplementary. So by definition, the two angles total up to 90 for complementary and 180 for supplementary. So we'll put, I'll just put that right there. Complementary, 90, 180, supplementary. I want to draw your attention. This is also in your textbook. But one way that I've always explained to students, so I just kind of love that they put that in the textbook, to remember 
which one is which, which one's 90, which one's 180, because these don't really have a relationship. These words don't really relate to the English language like some math terms do. They have a root that gives meaning to the word that we're familiar with. But in math and in the English language, complementary means, I don't know, just it's, you know, to give a compliment to somebody or to, to praise them or something like that. Um, supplementary usually means additional. It has nothing to do with the angle measures. So it's, it's, a, it's a different transition and it's a different spelling. So that's another reason why they're not the same. Um, so if you remember that C comes before S, 90 comes before 180, Hopefully that'll help you remember which one is which. So when you're looking at the picture, we can see that two adjacent angles form a straight line, which makes them supplementary. Now we know that if we add them up, x plus x minus 6, they will equal 180. Combine like terms, x plus x is 2x, 2x minus 6, we can, sub we can add 6 to both sides, so we're actually solving 2x is equal to 186, and we find that it's equal to 93. So let's give this a try. First, decide if they're complementary or supplementary. Do they form a right angle or a straight line? In problem three, they are complementary. Okay, so write your equation. x minus 8 plus 20 equals 90. So combine some like terms here, a negative 8 and a positive 20 make for 12. So we get subtract 12 from both sides, x is equal to 78. And how can we check our work? We could take 78 minus 8 which would be 70. 70 plus 20 is 90, and we know that we're right. When we look at number four, the two adjacent angles form a straight line, which is a straight angle, or 180. So we will say that they are supplementary. Okay, and then we'll write an equation. 76 plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 180. Combining the like terms, gives us 2x plus 80 is equal to 180. Subtract 80 from both sides, and we get 2x is equal to 100. And when we divide both sides by 2, kind of didn't leave myself much room here, we'll find x is equal to 50. So to check our work, take 50 times 2, plugging it back in, which is 100. 100 plus 4 is 104. 104 plus 76 is 180. And that's how we can check our work.